file photo tensor operation is characterized by 12 parameters. The 12 parameters are torque sensor raw value, torque sensor rectified value, torque sensor peak value, actual torque sensor value, turn on speed, turn on delay, base active current, turn off delay, and max TS value, TS turn on value, and TS offset value. How do you get the most out of your uh, torque sensor? The first step is to calibrate your torque sensor. So how do you calibrate your torque sensor? One way to calibrate your torque sensor is that you use Falco interface 1.4.3, right? Using, I have in my hand, the micro and plus USB stick. Um, you can get that from Falco and you need to plug this into your uh, laptop, a Windows laptop. And then you can download free Falco interface on your laptop. And then once you have the two, then you can connect between the Falco interface and your Falco system and uh, calibrate the torque sensor. So the first thing is we want to focus on these four parameters. Right? So these four parameters allow us to make sure that when you are not pedaling, when the uh, bike is at standstill, the torque sensor is correctly calibrated. Right? So the first thing you want to do is um, look at the TS raw value. So the TS raw value will vary 300 to 500. Right, when you're standing still. If you have connected the Falco interface with your Falco system, you want to sit on the bike and see the variation in the TS raw value. If there's no variation, it's great. Okay, if there's no variation, it's great. Right, that means that the uh, motor is very close to calibrated value in the frame. Right. The second step is you want to um, take the wheel off the ground and twist your throttle and look at the actual TS value. If this remains zero, then you're also great, right? But if this, there's a count here, right? So you're, you're looking for two counts. One is variation in the raw value when you sit on the bike. Right? And the second is, you want to look at the actual TS value. So you get two offsets from this exercise, two numbers. Okay, we can call it offset one for sitting. And then there's the offset two, no load throttle operation. Okay? So with these two numbers, these two numbers go into this parameter value here, which is also in the Falco interface. And these are under the tab for control. So this, this is under motor parameters tab. Parameters under motor control tab, right? Okay, so, so once we have found out offset one and offset two, essentially these two offsets are, are added together, and then we put that under motor control tab in TS offset value, okay? So that essentially completes the calibration of the torque sensor. Okay, now what we want to do is, now there are some fine tuning. So you have got uh, these parameters to do the fine tuning of the torque sensor. Now let's understand the operation of the torque sensor, right? So what we're trying to do is, the torque sensor gives you infinite combinations, okay, to match human power to motor power. So let's talk about over 500 watt motor power. Okay, this is 500 watt motor power on this 
on this axis, y-axis, and then on x-axis, we let's say plot human power, right? If you are, if you are a fit athlete, and let's say that you can produce 250 watt of power, okay, and you want to essentially match 250 watt of power, right, right, with the 500 watt of power. So I'm going to draw a box here, and I'm going to draw a line here. Okay, so you're saying when I produce 250 watt of power, my motor should produce 500 watt of power, so I've got total 750 watt of power which I want to use. Okay, so how do you set that? We're going to talk about that. The second aspect is let's say you're not a very fit athlete, you're not very fit, right? And or let's say you have uh, some sort of disability, and your ability is only to produce, let's say, 50 watt of power. Okay, so I am going to draw a line here now, and I'm going to say, okay, I want my 50 watt to be matched to 500 watt of human power, right? So you see how the slopes are different. Now these slopes are controlled, and you could control these essentially up to as there is no limit here. Right, so you could essentially control these uh, with a very wide range, right? For example, if you are a top athlete, then you say, okay, well, you know, I can produce 2,000 watt of power. So I want my 2,000 watt of power to be matched with 500 watt of human power. Okay, that's how the torque sensor works. Now, how do you manipulate these slopes? The parameter we use is called max TS value. So here, here, max TS value could be as high as, let's say, 20. Okay? Here, max TS value could be around 5. And in this case, max TS value is around, let's say, 1 or 2, right? So depending upon your ability to produce power, you can perfectly match that with, with the motor, okay? Now, and you have got the different levels, right? Level 1, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, and then a turbo mode. These control the torque. For a 500 watt motor, this is about 8, then this is about 12, this is about 16, this is about uh, 20, 24, and then you have 26. Okay, so these are the different torque levels, not the power levels, torque levels when you control through a system. Right? So let me quickly talk about the turn on speed, the turn on delay, base active current, turn off delay, flip TS command, and uh, turn TS turn on value. Okay, so turn on speed is the speed at which the torque sensor comes on. You can set that, right? But however, since the motor computes the speed very fast, right, it is not a slow computation of the speed, it's a fast computation of the speed. So if you set it high, 150 RPM, Right, then the torque sensor is going to turn on when when the motor thinks that it's rotating at 150 RPM. Okay, uh, turn on delay. Now this is a delay in time. Okay, this is a few. So this is a delay in few seconds. Let's say uh, when the uh, torque sensor should come on. Okay, you can set that. Uh, it's a count. It's not an exact value. It's a count. So. Uh, one count, two count, etc. They are a unit of essentially, you know, 200 milliseconds. So, a base active current is you can start the motor with a higher torque when the torque sensor turns on. You could say that, you know, if I start cranking, I can, I have two options. I can crank from zero, or I could crank from a number. Right? This difference here is defined by the base active current. 
Okay, then you have a turn off delay. So after you stop pedaling, how long after I stop pedaling should the torque sensor turn off? Now, why do we have turn off delay? The reason we have a turn off delay is to take into account that as you go higher in speed, uh, the humans lose ability to produce torque because you have got more uh, focus on the on the power, right? So turn off delay is to take into account your speed variation of the power. Flip torque sensor command. Now this allows you to essentially calibrate the torque sensor in reverse. So this is basically a convenience for cable routing. Uh, you can you know route the cable differently and then recalibrate the torque sensor by using this command. Max DS value, essentially we have we have talked about mapping human power with motor power. Okay? TS turn on value. You now this is the value at which the torque sensor begins to turn on, right? It is similar to the turn on speed. So we have normally a default value here of five. Okay? And that 5 basically means that when I start producing 5 newton meter of torque on my cranks, then only motor should turn on. Okay, so those are some of the basic things about Falco torque sensor operation. Questions?